Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come your way as we begin a brand new week. And the Bible tells us that His mercies are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. And as we start out a new week, we know that His mercies are new. His faithfulness is evergreen, ever fresh towards us. This week, I want to bring our attention to a familiar topic, a familiar subject, and that is on feeding on the Word, feeding on the Word, and just uh, impart to us some insights that would actually motivate us towards desiring more of the Word of God. So today, as we begin this week's uh, meditation, I want to talk to us about the fact that the Word of God is milk, is bread, and is solid food. You know, for natural life and for our physical well-being, all of us need to nourish our body, our bodies on good food. And uh, we have milk, we have bread, and then we have various kinds of solid foods that are available. And very interestingly, in the scriptures, uh, the Word of God is referred to with these analogies. In 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2, Peter says, As newborn babes desire the pure milk of the Word, that you may grow thereby. So he says, just like babies crying out for milk, you know, we must cry out for the Word of God so we can grow by it. The Word of God is like milk. Then in Matthew 4 and verse 4, we know the scripture where Jesus actually quoted from the Old Testament and he was resisting a temptation that the devil had presented him and he said, Man will not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceeds from the mouth of God. So, in contrast to bread alone, he's saying we need to nourish ourselves with the word of God, every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. We need that in as much as we need bread for our natural bodies. And the writer of Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 5 verses 12 through 14, uh, he's writing to believers, he's saying, you know, uh, 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 he's talking about the word of God as solid food the oracles of God as being solid food and the word of righteousness being solid food. So God's word is milk, is bread, is solid food. In other words, God's word is designed to nourish us, or we could say it like this, we need to be nourished by the word of God. Now imagine in the natural, if we don't eat a meal, it's okay, you can probably manage with the other two meals in the rest of the day. But if you miss several meals, you know, the body feels tired, it feels weak. And, uh, you know, if some are uh, malnourished or deprived of food, they can physically become very weak. Now think about that in the spiritual. If we don't nourish ourselves spiritually, what would be our spiritual condition? So I want to encourage you and me that we need to nourish our inner person with the Word of God, the milk, the bread, the solid food of God's Word. Let's pray. Father, we ask and you will help us intentionally, consciously nourish our inner man with your Word so that we could be strengthened, we could have energy and the capacity spiritually to do the things you've called us to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.